So, the way that I... This is kind of cool. I haven't seen this in a long time. I hadn't seen it in a long time. But why does it look like that, man? What's going on? Oh, my God. Wow, this is crazy. So, yeah. Um, the way that I did this is I had this grid, right? As you can see here. So, I pretty much used this grid. I created it myself with the... I used the pencil tool, first of all. This is how you can do this. Like, just pixel by pixel. Just make the, the pen tool really small. Well, no, the pencil tool as small as possible and it's just one pixel right so I created this grid like this long grid well this big grid that sounds bad but yeah um, and then on top of it I guess I, I just started like doing all the castle and everything like that so let, let's let's start with that like how do you make that grid first of all it depends like there's different types of uh, perspectives that you could do isometrically like the one that I used here is like three pixels as you can see you have three pixels then three pixels three pixels and it just goes on like that forever now you could do it like with two pixels where it would be like this two pixels two pixels so the the perspective would be like more pronounced you know then you could do it with like one pixel that would be crazy or you could do it with more like five pixels or whatever it's very flat so um, for me I did this with three so let's start making like a obviously I didn't draw the whole thing I copy pasted well I'm talking about the grid right the castle I did draw the whole thing <laughs> but for the grid you just need to make like a small part and then you copy paste it until you have the whole thing right you don't want to like <laughs> have to be doing this for 12 hours so let's start creating this thing oh I messed up I think I need one more here. Yeah. Now it should work. So, as you can see, now we have one square of the grid. This was bigger, but doesn't matter. You can do it whatever size you want, really. So, just like copy paste. And you can plug it in here. Oh my gosh. Well, it's better to use the keys on the keyboard because that way it's easier. Now, the problem with this is that it creates a new layer, right? So, what we're going to have to do is just select all the layers, merge them together like this. And now, well, um, let's put this last one here put it in place so now we have like this four by f well two by two square so we have this thing now we can copy paste this and as you can see it's going to start growing exponentially or geometric i don't know the, the word i mean whatever right i think that you get the idea right but it's just fun to do this so there you have it. Now we have a bigger grid. Now we can copy this again and create a new grid. Even bigger. There you go. And you can just keep on going forever until you have like this big grid. Right? But that's cool. Um, once we have that though, we have to create a new layer on top of this, obviously. And we can start with the actual castle so just follow the grid man just follow this same grid as simple as that don't try to be like changing stuff
here's the the trick oh yeah there it is that's the trick that's what you need to know now how do you do that if you want to know you have to pay 19.99 no i'm joking i'm gonna tell i'm gonna give it to you for free just for a limited time for today right because this is the trick that you need to know this is the real deal okay how to do that okay so th the way that you do it is really simple if you click here and you hold shift and then you click somewhere else it's gonna draw the line automatically now you don't want like a random line because if you do it wrong then it's not gonna follow the grid exactly so the way that you do it the way that you do it to make it look uh, exactly like the grid is here once you see we have three pixels you have to start with the one in the middle and the last one also the one in the middle so that way it exactly follows the grid now if you do it like the last one and the last one it, it is wrong right or you do this one and this one it doesn't follow the grid exactly but from the middle and the middle there you go that's the way that you can do very big walls without having to draw every single pixel on your own like this like i did at the beginning you don't have to do that forever thankfully right so you could just do do what i did here just hold the shift the same thing here hold shift there you have it now from here to here from here to here and here we have a little something going on as you can see it's like a little rectangle now how do we actually fill it in with color well that's a hard question because as you can see when you fill it in with color it does it it does fill it in but it fill it up it fills it in wrong as you can see in a weird way so what you can do let me see if this works um oh what did i do oh my gosh there you go perfect that's how you fill it in perfectly well at least it works now I don't know if it's gonna work forever but it's working right now <laughs> so that's good so for those of you who didn't catch what I just did there it is perfect okay so I don't know why this works but um, pretty much what I did was I'm using this magic wand tool and I just this was selected the anti alias was selected I just unselected it so see when it is selected it fills it in but it it does it wrong but now when I unselect this for whatever reason it works and I guess oh you don't even have to do that perfect perfect so here it fills it out wrong I'm not sure if you can see it correctly now you can probably see it. if you unselect this it's gonna fill it in perfectly again I don't know why it works or if this is even like a good solution but I just figured it out right now you know I did this a long time ago I don't really remember how I did it but that's pretty much it you know you just have to do that times a thousand and you get this castle oh my gosh <laughs> so yeah guys that's pretty much like little tips and tricks there's other tips and tricks that I can tell you right now like for example for this I did a little bit like shadows well that's actually something that I didn't do here that I could have done and would have been really cool is that you can make this look a little bit cooler like if you 
a little bit of well let's do it I don't know how to explain it but if you do this nope we have to make a little bit I'm gonna make this less yeah like that now I can actually use this color if we do this it gives you like a cool light effect here from here to here as you can see and well on the borders maybe we can just leave the, the black like that yeah just like that so it gives it like on the edge it gives it like a little cool like light effect so I could have done that for the whole thing but I didn't but that's a little something that you can do really interesting and yeah guys that's pretty much it yeah really like there's no there's nothing else to to add to it this is all my all the tips and tricks that I learned I'm I'm by no means an expert in pixel art I haven't done a, a lot of it but this is like I don't know I spent quite a while like I spent quite a lot of time doing this castle <laughs> so I, I learned a little bit tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff so yeah I hope it was helpful and as you can see it looks really nice it's just a matter of like doing it a lot for like this took me like 10 hours or something I don't know maybe more than that you know because it's like really small details you have to like do a lot but yeah it's really cool it's really cool so yeah that's pretty much the tutorial I hope it was helpful so yeah see you in the next ones guys I have more videos in my channel too so 